Hello everyone, my name is Clutch and welcome to Lucifer Mechanics Garage of Drag Speed and Styrene Customs Fabrication. How's it going everyone? Uh, this is Clutch coming to you from another edition of Lucifer Mechanics Garage. Uh, today I was asked to uh, talk to uh, Jamie uh, Garvin over at Jamie G's uh, Scale Model Garage. He was talking about uh, about some wire to acquire from ProTech and uh, I just kind of wanted to I give him a little how to uh, on his post so I thought I would go ahead and make one here uh, just to show you um, kind of give me an idea to make this show you guys how to make wire in a fast easy way if you're a run out or if you just want to use this method so basically what I do is I take like a 14 gauge coated wire a piece of 1500 sandpaper some uh, wire strippers and then the main ingredient here also is the uh, Duplicolor self etching, um, yeah. some maximum adhesion and corrosion resistance. Uh, it's usually meant for um, using on copper or brass uh, or any kind of metal to self etch the paint on. It gives something to hold on to. And then today we're going to use a duplicolor. I just randomly picked this out of my uh, out of my uh, out of my paint stash. And uh, I just recently bought this can, I don't know, about five months ago or so. I was going to decant it and use it uh, for uh, uh, to paint my Chevy engines. But uh, I found a Chevy Red, and uh, so I don't have to use this. But anyway, I'm going to use, be using this. Uh, it's pretty simple. Like I said, this comes in a... You can either use this full-time, or you can use this if you just run out of wire, or you need a special color or something. And it's a pretty easy, uh, efficient way to... Uh, to make wire so uh, let's get in here and uh, let me show you how to do it all right as you can see I went in stripped all the wire out got it all stripped and uh, you know I'm gonna pick me out a few pieces here all right now this wire comes out to about I'd say five ten thousandths uh, roughly roughly about uh, on a right around twelve thousandths which is kind of perfect for uh, for wiring, I mean it's kind of overscale, I think, because um, you can get you can get like five thousandths from uh, from ProTech, I think it's about the size of it. Uh, this right here could be even used for uh, for like uh, if you're doing uh, spark plug wires for your car, uh, for your motor. So keep that in mind also if you want to do a special color or something, can't get the color you need. So anyway, I just run my finger and my thumbnail across it, try to somewhat straighten it out. Uh, to get it straight, I grab a couple pieces here. Okay, so you can see I take my finger and my thumb, and I just run it right across there. Try to get the kinks out of it, like so. It'll curl up on you, but we we'll just straighten that out. Then you take you some 1500. Okay. Then you just gradually <clears throat> grab a toothpick here, make it a lot easier. Wrap it around there. <clears throat> then what you do is you just grab it and you just start running it through the sandpaper. Now the reason you're doing this is because you want to give the photo the uh, self-etching primer something to adhere to uh, when you're spraying it. Because if you don't, it'll kind of just liquid up on you and you just keep running it through there get you a good little 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 stretches through there so that way you give it to uh, something to bond to all right we got that one done let's take this one Oops, got another one Run 
through there like that. And you just want to go through and just run it through there about five, six, seven times. I remember it makes you feel good. Just kind of knock that sheen down on it uh, where it's shining. And, uh, and you know, you got somewhat of a decent surface to hope for yourself etching to stay on there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Looks pretty good. All right, let's go in here and paint it and see how it turns out. <clears throat> All right, as you can see, I went and sprayed it with the self-etching primer and I let it dry. I let it uh, put a couple thin coats on it. Didn't put it all in one time, so that way I didn't want it to, uh, you know, to uh, overcoat it too much where it wouldn't adhere. But I put a couple thin coats on it, and uh, now it's time to put the uh, paint on it. We'll get to that right now. Here you go. Got you some orange, orange wire, red wire, whatever you want. Um, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's sort of a uh, of a hack, I guess, or a technique. I don't know what you call it. But I have used this before in the past. Uh, sometimes when I want a certain wire or a certain color or something. So uh, there you go. I hope you can use this at, uh, when you get a tight spot or whatever. I, you know, I don't. I'm not assuming that you'll use this all the time. But uh, you know, if you run out of a certain spark plug wire or something like that, I mean, or, you know, you can even make it better once you photo etch it. I mean, once you. Uh, Put the self etching on it and let it dry and everything. You can run, you can wet sand it to make it a little smoother. And um, you know, and I also suggest if you're going to do this and you want to do uh, like get a smaller wire, like strip, um, like a uh, computer cord wires and stuff. Get that stainless, uh, th really thin, thin five thousandths wire out of it, like I use, uh, like inside here, inside of this uh, stock car where I run my ignition and stuff. That comes in real handy, but uh, it works. But this right here is basically all you need if you just want to need a wire or something. So I hope this helps. Um, thanks for tuning in uh, to another edition of Lucifer Mechanics Garage. Take care, everyone. Bye.